I'll be showing you how to use PowerPoint Cameo, a brand new feature that lets you insert live video feeds directly into your presentation like you're seeing here. This can be used in regular PowerPoints, you can share on Teams, or even in Zoom. So let's get started. I'm here in PowerPoint and I have my Inatech deck. For those that are Office Space fans, this will be inspired by Bill Lumberg and Inatech giving a strategy update. Now I wanna make my presentation more engaging with live video feeds and that's what Cameo lets me do. So I'm gonna to go to the second slide and PowerPoint Designer helped me make this slide but I wanna make it a little more engaging when I'm presenting. And the most important part is the who will save us. So I will go to the insert menu in PowerPoint and over on the right hand side, you're gonna see Cameo and it inserts it right here in the lower right. Now by default, the video feed is off what I'm gonna do is click this to engage it, and now I've got a live video feed right in my PowerPoint. Now when you have this Cameo, you're gonna see this contextual menu appears for camera. So I'm gonna click this, and now I have all these different options to make my video formatted the way that I want. So for example, I could make it into a circle, I could make it into a hexagon or a diamond. What's nice is I can also move this around the page. So I'm gonna make it a circle here, but now I'm gonna move my video right up here on top. And so now when I'm doing my presentation, I can be the person who's going to save us because I'm Bill Lumberg and I'm amazing. Now what you can also do is do things like bring it forward, bring it backwards, all these same options that you get in PowerPoint. You can also give things like borders and effects and I'll show those in just a second. The other nice thing is, is you have multiple cameras over here on preview. I'll drop this down and you can see that I have both a surface and a different camera. So I could switch to a different camera angle or swap out. I'm going to leave it right now on my surface, but if you have multiple cameras, that can be changed too. Now on the next slide, what I want to do is go here and this is the answer to all of our problems. And of course it is the new TPS report cover sheets. I'm going to add another cameo embed right here. So I'm going to go to the insert menu and I will choose cameo again. There is my little cameo window in the bottom. Now I can move this up. This time I'm going to change the camera shape with even more options. So I'm going to drop this and you have a whole bunch of great options to choose for shapes. Now the one that is most important to Bill Lumberg because he's amazing is a star. So let's choose a star. Okay. Now I'm a little star here. I'm going to size it. And I'm going to make it right here, make it a little bit bigger. There, that's looking good. You can even give it a border because a star is golden. We'll give it a border. And then for camera effects, you have all these different options, shadow, reflection, even a glow. And I am a glowing star. So let's make it like this. That looks pretty good. The last thing I'll show is animations. So I click here and I'm going to go add an animation so I can treat this just like an object in PowerPoint. So we'll drop this down. And hey, let's do a fly in star. Look at that, that's pretty amazing. Now what I'll do is go and start my slideshow and let's see how this goes. We'll go from the beginning. Hello board members of Inatech, I'm here to give you a strategy update. Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Profits are down, meetings are up. Who will save us? He's on camera right now. Let's go to the next slide. Behold the new TPS report cover sheets. And who is the person who designed these? Me, because I'm a star. Check out those TPS reports. Jazz hands. The last thing I'll show is designer integration with Cameo. I have a set of next steps here and a couple of bullet points, but I wanna make it more interesting. Click on insert, add Cameo, and there's my camera. You'll see on the right-hand side, this pane opens up and you have some ideas that designer has generated. So I can click on this one, that one's okay. Oh, here, now my video is a little bit bigger and next steps are on the right. So you have a bunch of different options you can explore. And if I close this and I want to come back later, just go to the Home tab and then click on Design Ideas and that will generate a bunch of ideas for you. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.